Okay, so I see. So turn and push. There are six rota rotatable dials with a press function. Two touch display bars. Two bars display currently assigned action to dials. You can also create additional pages of dials. Swipe up, down on the touch screen to navigate between dial pages. Cool. So we can. Okay. This is going to be different. This is going to be different. Very, very different. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, you don't even have to touch it. This is, I mean, you don't even have to click it. You can actually just tap it. And it's all in. Okay. Touch screen dial group. They just can be grouped into workspaces. Cool. Commonly used actions like undo, save for sure. FN would lock, would unlock a second layer of it. Cool. Use the home button to quickly access your home workspace. Each application profile has a home workspace that may contain links to other workspaces, generic actions, or whatever you like. So cool. Straight. And like I said, everything's here. You can either click it here on the screen, but I'm actually using the actual touchpad right here as you can probably see it from your angle. Um, let's take a look. Loop Deck CT comes with a variety of profiles for different applications. That This is awesome. So I'm assuming that will be dynamic mode. By default, Loop Deck CT dynamically changes the profile based on the active application by turning off dynamic mode. But of course, by turning off dynamic mode, your loop deck CT will remain on the selected profile regardless of the active window. I would rather leave it on dynamic mode just so we can, it can automatically change to what we're accustomed to depending on the application we're using. Probably make later changes um, later on or whatnot. Let's take a look. Uh, when you press finish, the loop deck configuration software will open automatically. You can always launch the configuration software by Click in the loop deck icon in the task menu. Awesome. So pretty much done here. Um, cool. Awesome. So this is it. We're here. Um, windows. Cool. Yeah, we definitely already got those presets right here. We can add applications, of course, which I will do. We got Premiere Pro, After Effects. Uh, pretty much have what I'm going to be using for now. Even have has OBS Studios. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this for Premiere Pro. Uh, we're going to have fun. I wonder if it would work for, for example, okay, so we can actually, based off of what we already have, right we can just click and add it because i was wondering if it would yeah for premiere pro rush right yes it does nice i like the clock function look how it looks it looks pretty dope right here give you a little clock function um your undos and stuff it's pretty sick uh I have to master this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have to use this all the time. To me, this is so sick right now. To be able to do this, you have no idea, like, man, this is crazy right now. Um, okay, so we have that. I wanna see what happens when I put, got your After Effects, of course. Not surprised. All right, cool. Create your account. Yes, and that's so that way you can keep things saved, which is nice. 
um, animation effects. All right, so this is it. This was installing the loop deck. Pretty simple. Um, you get to, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Once you plug it in, plug and play. So once you plug it into your computer, definitely head over to their homepage and download the website. I said download the website. Definitely download the um, the software for it, so that way you can be able to have your own configurations and change it how you would like. I know I'm gonna be. I'm just playing with it now. I'm gonna just add another profile. Cool. Uh, application. Let's see, just really quick. Let's see what Premiere Pro shows. All right. And this is if we wanted to add something to it. Yeah, I definitely got to play around with this for sure. But this is definitely where we're at right now. Like, this is the stuff right now. Um, this is sick. I'm not going to even lie to you. And I haven't even used it yet. Wow. Okay. So this is something that we're definitely gonna have to get um, used to. Yeah. It's your boy Zoe Cartier. I'm definitely messing with the loop deck. I highly recommend it. Um, we'll do some more reviews. We'll definitely get into it. But for now, this is the installer. So I'm out.